Okay, so today I am doing a book review on The Testing by Joelle Charbonneau. Hopefully this goes well, because this is my third time filming it. This is a dystopian young adult novel, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, spoiler free, and then later I'm going to say, watch out, spoilers are coming. So if you don't want any, then you can X out. But I'm not really going to say anything too spoily, but yeah. So, a little bit about this novel, there is world wars that decimated everything, there are mutated animals and radioactive plants and most of the population is dead and so there's a new government called the United Commonwealth and what they're trying to do is find new people to help lead and revitalize the earth. To find people that are good enough to lead the world they come up with this program called the testing and the testing is basically uh, they select the smartest people, the most uh, street, not street savvy, but people with really good abilities. They select them when they graduate from like their version of high school and they put them through the testing. If you pass the testing then you can move on to university and those who graduate from university are the most esteemed in society, you can become a political leader, the best scientist, doctor, stuff like that. So it's looked upon as a great honor to be chosen and pass the testing. On the back of the book though, there are some questions to the United Commonwealth, the government, and it's like saying if they can refuse their testing if they're nominated, and the answer is no. Uh, is the testing safe? Has anyone died while participating in the testing? And it's like, we can't discuss that. So there's an air of of danger and mystery and not everything is as it seems. The protagonist is Sia. She just graduated and she has been chosen for the testing which is what she wanted her whole life but her dad has been he went through the testing, he graduated from university and he's a very esteemed agriculturalist. Agriculturalist? But he told her not to trust anyone and he has these these dreams that he can't remember if they're real or not and yeah it's just very very not what she seemed and what she thought the testing was all about. Now this book is often compared to the Hunger Games and I definitely agree there are some undeniable similarities like the testing getting chosen was it just reminded me of the reaping. I felt the characters weren't really built up in this novel. I didn't really feel for the characters and so I was picturing Jennifer Lawrence for a lot of the time which I, I tried to dismiss because I was like this is not the Hunger Games. But yeah that was one of my biggest gripes with this book. It was a good book and I did enjoy it but I was not really connected to the characters and I didn't really feel for the characters and I, I like Sia but I wasn't really like feely toward her if you know what I mean. With a book with numerous tests and obstacles it could be easy to be predictable but I did like that the book kept me on my toes. I feel like there was a lot of devious things, things that I wasn't expecting, plot twists, you know, surprise things. It was very exciting. It was a fast read for me. I got through it in like a day or two and so yeah it wasn't boring at all. A lot of people said the beginning was slow but I didn't find that. I, they like jumped right in. Like the very beginning of the book was her graduating and seeing if she was chosen for the testing or not. So it was a pretty fast read for me. Like I said I liked it. It was exciting but there was so much similarities to The Hunger Games which is not a bad thing. It just it really reminded me of it. It does have its own air of originality to the book though. It's not a direct copy or anything like that and it is a really interesting read. I think if you like dystopian, if you like The Hunger Games, you really would like this one, but it's not the best. Don't expect the same reaction that you got from The Hunger Games. I think a big part of that was also, you know, like I said, the lack of connection to the characters. The ending was good though, there was a cliffhanger and I'm excited to read the second one, Independent Study. The third and final of the trilogy comes out in summer so I definitely want to get through Independent Study so I can pre-order and read uh, Graduation Day. So I am excited to read the next books, the ending was really good. Okay so I'm just going to talk about one more thing, it was it's not really spoilery in my opinion, it's just about my feelings on a relationship that Sia has with one of the characters, but if you don't want to know then you can go ahead and X out if you don't want to be spoiled, but it's not too big of a deal. Besides the characters not being built up that much and you know not very much physical information about them, I couldn't really picture them, There, there's Thomas who is also chosen for the testing, he's from Sia's colony and they kind of go in it together, they have sort of a history but it's not really explained 
explained. So Thomas's character is not really explained. I don't really have a backstory. His physical appearance is just like cute with a dimple. That's all there really is to it. So I had a hard time picturing it and I had a hard time shipping their relationship. I just did not care about their relationship. It didn't seem real to me. It seemed very fake and they started holding hands like just in support going into the testing together from the same colony but eventually you know they like each other they kiss and I just feel like it's just all really awkward please pardon the flying aircraft it was all very weird for me because usually I ship like 99% of the relationships that I read about I feel like this is the only book that I never shipped the relationship but it was just so weird and they're saying I love you I love you and I'm just like who are you I barely even know who you are and you guys just only you didn't even start dating you kind of just got thrown into this thing and now you're like I love you it was just all very weird I was thinking maybe it's because they're in this like dangerous setting and it's not really a place for a romance but that's not the case because I shipped Peta and Katniss so I'm not really sure but yeah, that's it for my review. Uh, 3 out of 5 stars if I didn't say so already. I do recommend you read it. If you like dystopian and see for yourself, like I said, you're not going to love it like I'm sure most of you love The Hunger Games if you read it. But it is a good book and I do recommend it to you guys. So thank you for watching. Let me know of your thoughts if you read this book. And uh, I will see you on my next video. Bye guys. Hi everyone, I'm wearing the same clothes except I changed this in an effort to trick you into thinking I film in multiple days, but really I film right after the other. <laughs> oh no, there's a shadow. I don't want the shadow. <laughs> Airplane! <laughs> I fly like paper, get high like okay. <laughs> Look at this girl. Look at her. Look at her. My sister is trolling while I film. Hi guys! Them. What the? It's Taylor! Stop! <laughs> I'm out of focus. That was rude. <laughs>